Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 12th of 2024 is titled Northern Lights, West Virginia. So what do we see here? Well, here in an image in taken from southern West Virginia in the United States, what do we see but up in the sky but the aurora? Now that's a little farther south than we normally see the aurora, which are generally confined to very northerly latitudes. So the more we get with a solar storm, and that's what happened here recently, when a coronal mass ejection, a mass ejection of particles from the sun, which followed a very massive solar flare, then those particles strike Earth's atmosphere. And they don't strike Earth's atmosphere everywhere. What they do is they strike the Earth and being charged particles, they actually follow along the magnetic field lines of Earth. And this focuses their intensity. Charged particles don't like to cross magnetic field lines. So they will travel around them and they will strike the atmosphere where those magnetic field lines come in to the Earth. And that is at the north and south magnetic poles. So those are the areas where they will generally strike Earth's atmosphere and where they will generally be visible. Now, when you have a very intense storm or a very strong coronal mass ejection, you can deform Earth's magnetic field by the onslaught of particles from the sun. And what that will do is then give the aurora and make it visible at much lower latitudes. So the stronger that storm, the more we will see aurora much farther south than we are generally used to seeing it. Now these storms occur at various times, including when the sun is most active. And the sun has a cycle of activity of about every 11 years. And we are around the time of that maximum of activity uh, right now over the next year or so the sun will be much more active. And what does that mean? That means we'll see far more solar flares, far more sunspot activity, and coronal mass ejections coming from the sun. So that means we could look forward to seeing far more aurora over the coming year. Now we can see the different colorations here, uh, the green and then the reds and including up into the purple, all caused by the aurora as they strike atoms in Earth's atmosphere at different levels. So the green is much lower down, the red is much higher up in the atmosphere. And that has to do with the atmospheric density, how closely the particles are spaced. So when they're uh, closer together in the lower atmosphere, still well up above our surface, we get the green color from oxygen. And when they're even higher up in the atmosphere, the density being less, we can get the red color also from oxygen atoms. So here we get to see that aurora that occurred very recently, because of that large storm from the sun. So that was our picture of the day for October 12th of 2024. It was titled Northern Lights, West Virginia. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Aurora in Motion. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.